So, our heroes, um, we are going to be doing this session a little bit differently for a simple fact that Vermilion, um, our lizard men, is not going to be with us this session. He is currently away on family business, aka birthdays. Woohoo! Birthdays. Um, so he will not be joining us for this session. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to pick a person in random, and they are going to tell you, the viewers, what happened last time. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Dragon. Oh, um, 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 so when we started, we got chased down by some orcs, which we thought fought, and then we went to camp, and do I, do I have to go really into detail too much? Because I'm not very good at exact detail remembering but i guess give a rough summary yeah we got chased by some orcs um Rosio uh, they were pacified they were them wait we you get trolls. that right trolls oh oh yeah they <laughs> okay yeah i am ah <laughs> oh don't feel bad i drew orcs the first time oh so yeah we got chased down by some trolls and Rosu pacified them before we could finish them off, and then we were traveling, and the black armor dude, I forgot how to exactly describe him, appeared and shot Ball, I believe it was, and the girl, and then we went to camp, and we had dinner, and I, oh yeah, then we had the hunting thing that happened, hunting event, and I got Unicorn's Blessing. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah. Or yep. Okay. <laughs> And you don't know how jealous Rozu is currently. <laughs> because of the unicorn, not for the staff. But it's still uh, good staff. Because <laughs> her character is literally... Her My is literally icon is literally a unicorn girl. <laughs> oh. But that's besides the point. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> You weren't paying attention, Rosu. I'm sorry. I'm sorry my purse is still freaking <laughs> out. Anyway, um, you guys have officially left the presence of Gas of Stronov and traveled more north, headed towards Karn Village. Um, from what I remember, you guys are first going to try to get into contact with that person rumored to have been from your world yep according to barber that nobody Barabbit. knows but ball yep only ball knows of so ball knows who what huh <laughs> <laughs> we'll Sorry, say... i was just in the middle of tearing some food up <laughs> we were saying you're the only one who knows our other de destination because you haven't told us anything <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're going to the other place before you go to Karn. I remember. Yeah. Totally. Remember. <clears throat> he totally rem He doesn't remember. <laughs> he totally rem He doesn't remember. <laughs> Shh, <laughs> giving out my secrets. <laughs> <clears throat> Anywho, you guys are on your way to uh, the mysterious location that Ball refuses to tell anyone else about. <laughs> So we're just going to say we had the night? Oh, yeah. You uh, you tore up, like, your meals. Um, yeah, basic, basically, you slept through night very peacefully. Nothing happened. Um, you guys get a full, uh, well-rested night throughout the thing. So it was a long rest. Um, I finally managed to get a good picture for Aruka. The Minotaur married to Barabbas. So I'm going to show you her right now. Uh, I actually drew the reference off of her. I thought you might like it if it, you know, stayed a little bit the same. <laughs> that was just funny because I drew a reference off of her and another one kind of combined it. Any, anyway, uh, she, um, she's v v uh, she is basically mama bearing her two children now, now that the mysterious man in black armor showed up, and she's not letting them out of her sight. So they are sitting at the front of the caravan, I mean, cart, under her arms, basically, you know, 
And they are they are okay with this. <laughs> like every time a bush rustles like next to the cart, her eyes just like dart to the side and like death glare it until it's like set it settles down. Every time she like reaches for her like a battle axe, just in case. Yeah. But she, you guys can probably not blame her for doing this. Rosu's probably jumping the same way. <laughs> I mean, the man nearly did kill her own daughter, so <laughs> it is not far from seeing what might <laughs> might cause her to do this. <laughs> Anywho, um, you guys spend the next five hours in relative silence in the cart ride, having um, Barabbas's uh, wind spell push you along, and you see the trees, you know, rustling in the wind. It is heavily, like, in this section of the forest, you can see that it's starting to become what looks to be summer. Um, you can see the bees buzzing in the trees, the, um, uh, the birds nesting, and you hear little, little baby birds, you know, cheeping, like, wanting wanting food. From what you can tell, you're headed towards what you assume to be um, mountain range because you can see mountains in the distance, but you're not sure if there are multiple because there's just one large mountain blocking your view. The road is relatively, it's made of dirt. It's like well-worn, like you can tell people travel this often. Uh, mostly people on foot, however, not many cart tracks or, or horses, just mostly footprints. So we're passing other people? No, not currently. I was going to say, if we are, they're probably looking at us strange. No, this road, at this time of day, you, uh, to be honest, it's really still early in the morning. And you don't see that many people on the road. This is still heavily wilderness, and people don't technically want to go out into the wilderness until it's, like, fully daylight. I mean, there are monsters in the woods. Yeah, that would make sense. However, since you guys are a large party, the monsters are keeping their distance, especially with Aruka giving them a death glare. You do see them in the distance, you know, every so often you do see a wolf, like, pacing or something like that. One time you could have swore you, like, saw a naga of some kind stalking you guys, but kind of fell away. Um, as, the tr as the tree line falls away, however, you guys see to your off in the distance about... About about a cannon's fire away, you can see a village in the distance, and about maybe maybe an arrow. As the arrow flies, you can see a, a little house by itself right near a tree. Yeah. Barab Barabbas gets um gets Ball's attention, and he points to the house and nods. Looks like we're almost here. Ball will just nod at him and then um and then sit up on the cart and, and uh keep his hand on his sword and take his yeah. shield off his back. Uh you guys arrive at a very small house. Uh the house itself is single level, has a thatch roof, um mostly made out of mud bricks. Uh, ver like a very misshapen wooden door against it. Um, you can see that part of the, uh, eastern wall is made out of, like, the trunk of this tree, giving it shelter. You can see all sorts of, like, uh, carving tools, uh, you can see, like, knickknacks just laying about. You can see, uh, like, to your left, a uh, very old, very frayed, uh, training dummy. Uh, well... Where are we? We're at, um, we're here to meet somebody that Barla said that he met before him, um, finding us. It's, uh, it's the man that stole our shit. What? The man that took our shit. This is apparently where he lives. You mean the hacker? But- I mean, like, he's the one that stole our shit, right? 
<coughs> that was only a couple of days ago. Well, from what I heard, or from what I was told, this is where Barbara has met the man who's given away stuff, and he fits the description. So I asked him if he would kindly take us to where he met this man, and now we're here. You see a very, um, you see the door open, and you see a very old man come out the door. He looks significantly a little, he looks significantly different from, from what you guys saw. Very old, has a beard completely bald, has what looks to be an infection on the left hand side of his face, but you can tell his eyes are the same, the nose, but there's something off. Right, same guy. Ah, oh, Barbarous, Barabbas, whatever your name was. Did you come back for more supplies? Ah, uh, no, I, I, I brought my, I brought my friends here. They supposedly know you. I doubt it. And that's when I unsheathe my sword and start walking towards them. Oh shoot, no. The man seems very confused by your presence. Rosu's going r right behind Ball. Uh, hold on, you're not really going to kill him. As you, as you are getting closer, you notice that the man is completely blind in one eye. I keep my stride. Mm, I would like to try to run ahead and try to block him. Oh, oh, you must be one of those inhuman folk. I don't, I don't have much food, but I can provide with what I can. Give me a moment. You see him pick up a bucket next to his house, and it has vegetables in it. Long time no see, dickhead. Who are you? Oh. So you steal from us, and then you don't remember what we look like? Soup. Oh, I. You mean my grandfather. Grandfather? Yes. He used to tell me stories on how he stole from inhumans a long, long time ago. How's that possible? I know not. Hmm. Oh, however... If you want your belongings back, you're more than welcome to. You kept them? Of course. They're not mine, and I have no right to give them away. I look to Ball to make sure he's not going to try anything. Oh, forgive my manners. I may not be long for this world, but I was taught to have manners. My name is Tolius Craven. It's a pleasure. Ball is just contemplating right now, but his... He's, he's gripping his sword very hard around his hand right now. Oh, oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, so, it was your father and you're his son? So, why you're living out here? He said grandfather. Grandfather? What the? Yes. He built this house, my grandfather. He mm. had a feeling that you... F he had a feeling that some inhumans were sent here like he was. And he wanted to wait here for them. <laughs> For some odd reason, he wanted to kill them. You know, your grandfather was a dickhead. Do you know the name of your grandfather? The name of my grandfather? He had a very odd name, but then he renamed himself. He gives you the exact username of the individual that stole from you. Oh, gosh. How, how long was this? How long ago was it that he came but, here? Yeah. Uh, ah, uh, memories. That was over. That was over 70 years ago. I'm beginning to think that we were sent here at different times. How's that possible? He would have left the same time we did. Actually, he supposedly logged out before us, but that would be still impossible because he would have been caught. I don't know, but I still don't know how we got here. Well, we can, since I doubt he has any answers on how other, how... Humans and inhumans have suddenly started to transport here. I believe we might as well at least get our stuff back. Oh, and forgive me, but this I hope to give to you for a token of my apology on behalf of my grandfather. He brings forth a sword in both of his hands, sheathed, sort of as a presenting offering. Does that sword look familiar to us? It was the sword that the man was wearing when he hacked your account. This was his favorite sword. Ball just stands there and 
He looks like he's he wants to force himself to still be mad, but then he just he just let yeah, he just relaxes his shoulders and just sheaths his sword and just says, "There's no point in me being mad at the person that didn't even do nothing to us." Oh God! But there is no need to fret. If you wish, I can see it in your eyes, young man. You still wish to kill him. You wish to do more than to him than just kill him. But not. He's not even dead. What? He was cursed with undeath thirty years ago. So he's undead? He's a vampire. Ah oh, dear lord. So he became what he hates. An ironic, isn't it? And here I am, his grandchild, and I'm dying of a disease. Can I see what kind of disease he's um, okay, so on the left-hand side of his face, you can see what looks to be sort of gray scales, like, forming on the side of his face. Uh, that's not cool. Is it a curse? Are you sure it's a disease? Or are you sure it's a curse? I know not. All I know is that when I came of age, my grandfather told us that we all inherited it. For some odd reason, I didn't get it until I was 15 when I started training with that sword. Oh, that hmm. sword. So it's a cursed item. Probably. Yes, I accidentally cut myself with it. <sighs> Where's your grandfather's wife? Or ex-wife? Or your grandmother, I should say. My grandmother is buried in the back. Don't have anything to remove curses. Oh, I do, but oh, never I took, prepare for it. I took absolute, I prepared absolute curse, uh, an absolute cure, so I want to see if that will work on him. Wow. Uh, let me see. Ooh, there we go. No, I said curse is all I meant, but it's supposed to say cure. <laughs> this, but this might qualify as a high level curse, so I'm not sure if it will work. So you're using absolute cure on him? Mm hmm. <clears throat> As you cast the spell, you notice that the gray scales start to fall off his person. You see his, like, grayish skin start turning into a vibrant peach or a human color. You can see that underneath this gray skin, he was well tanned and well muscled. Looks like it was hard work from, like, tilling land, as you can see by his house that there is tilled land with, like, farmland attached. He looks at his skin and he's like, I'm why? Rosu can't help but look at Bo Ball and just smile big like she's proud of him. <laughs> if there's any way I can help, ask it. I will try my best. I look at the others and I just say, I don't know about them. I, I just want my shit back. I would love to know. Take five seconds. Oh, okay. He has a lot more energy now. Goes into you just hear smashing of like instruments against the walls, like things being adjusted around the house. A window smashes. You see a bowl tumble down, tumble out of the window. Brings out a chest. <laughs> My grandfather swore to me never to open this chest. It opens it, and you see that there is nothing inside. Mm. Except one singular item. Scrap of paper. This is IOU. Reads in common. If you're reading this note, you are clearly the inhumans that I stole from. Nice try. Won't be that easy. You may have persuaded one of my family members, but it won't be that easy. So, next time you dumb and humans want to try to do it the easy way, try to be smarter about it and go die in a ditch. What an asshole. Yeah, I also want to go now. Your favorite hacker and it gives his gamer tag. How did your grandfather not die before this? Kept to himself. How did he even get married? Found a treasure in a cave and he paid a woman enough. Uh, right. Yeah. But my 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 father, who was born as a result, he was much better man, much better man, much sweeter man. He found true love, and thus I was born. Which is ironic because my grandfather still doesn't know about their relationship. <laughs> About the true nature of their relationship, because she wasn't fully human. <laughs> what was she? 
was a changeling and half changeling. Hear some clapping slowly in the background. <laughs> <laughs> do you, He's like, maybe. Do you mind what if I? Your father and mother at? Oh, go ahead. Do you mind if I keep this piece of paper? Oh, go right ahead. Keep the entire chest if you want to. Uh, I don't, can't really carry a chest. How big is the chest, and is it still open? It's still open, and it's it's big enough to where literally only one person is required to, like, carry it in two hands. Like, that's it. Barely weighs maybe, like, 40 pounds. I kind of just, like, walk over and just sit in the chest. <laughs> This is my happy place. This is my happy place. This is my happy place. I'm so cute. <sighs> Where is this? <laughs> Boss I somehow gets redder than he acts in his skin some, somehow. <laughs> but yeah, you could tell he's uh, very infuriated right now. He, uh, the old man looks at you and he's like, you know, if... You want, I could tell you where I last heard of his location. He was always so cruel to me and uh, my father. So if you want to know his location, I'm willing to tell you. Yeah, that would be uh, very nice. Oh, know. again, last time I saw him. It was last seen near, and he whispers in your ear, uh, this name... How tall is he comparatively to me? He's standing on his tempe toes. And probably on a bucket. How'd you yeah, know he was standing on a bucket? <laughs> because he threw it out the window. <laughs> it's called the Azerlesia Mountains. He was last seen there. Do me a favor when you see my grandfather. If you can, cut his fucking head off. Hell yeah. Ah. Uh... Well, wow. he's undead now. Something that he he's inhuman now. Something that he's hated for years. So I'd appreciate it. And also, it's kind of revenge for what he did. So I have a request or a question. Um, I don't want to bother you any longer while you um, still have your youth and your normal skin now. <clears throat> Is there anything that you feel comfortable letting go with? Any magical items or just anything in general that could help us with our journey? You're asking a farmer for magic items? I mean, he has a shit. Give me one items. moment. You never know. This is the guy Barbara's goes to for magic items. I forgot oh, about that. that. House. Takes him about 10 minutes and he comes back with only two items. One of the items is cylindrical in nature and fits in the palm of his hand. The other looks to be a very small monocle. Here, take them. I have no use for these. I want to tend to my farm and tell that and tell my wife that she can come back home. Maybe I'll be able to get to see my own grandkids now that I'm cured. I need Barbara to take a look at that sword. Yeah. Is this sword like a long sword or is it a great sword? It is a short sword. I look at um uh what's your name? Darkest. I forgot the name of your character. Synth. What's up? Synth. There you go. I just said you use short swords, right? Mm. Sorry, what? I said you use short swords, correct? Nah, I'm all with the fist. It's more intimate. Why don't we use short swords? They're too small for me. Short swords are simple weapons, right? Yes. yes. I can use it. I hand it to you. Go ahead. Uh, are you going to be in the middle of the fray enough for you to be able to use it effectively? I want to find out what is first before anything else. And she's kind of holding it from a distance, like... It's cooties or something because she doesn't want anything to be scratched on it. He gives you the two items that he was holding, by the way. Mm-hmm. Barnes, what are these? Well, the cylindrical item is a, new, it's a new one on me, actually. I've never seen its like. And the monocle? Well, I know that just by looking at it. It's very useful for people who aren't able to learn languages. It's a monocle of comprehend languages. Ooh, that is handy. Only ones that I can see that it can't comprehend are Abernal, Primordial, and Celestial. Inferno, Celestial, and what? Primordial. Oh, and Sylvan. The other language looks viable, though. Okay. Again, that centrical object, I have no idea what it is. Don't you have an identifier? It'll take him a while, right? The problem is, is that I have to understand it. 
This is completely foreign to me. Can I try to take mm. a look at it? Investigation. Oh, no. I'll help you. Get oh, never oh, mind. You didn't read it. Nat 20. Yeah, go Ruzu. Oh, wow. Uh, you, see a little button, you see a little button on the side and boop, it opens up. It's a compass. Oh. At my lady. It's a compass that always points not north. To what it you want. Always point. No. No? No, that, that's absurd. That's absurd. <laughs> it only points to the most powerful magic. Ooh, it's probably pointing back to where we came from, right? No. Good. Wait, no, that's not good. It's currently pointing what looks to be north of the village you saw earlier. Hines' this place. Or the dark guy. Yes, that's a good question, isn't it, Rosu? Where is the dark guy? <laughs> anyway. I'm below. Uh, <laughs> oh, Synth, uh, what are you doing? You're probably mostly just pondering around, trying to take a peek at the monocle. <laughs> um, you're, you're just looking at, like, the at the different sites around this, like, small little hovel of a house. And, um, uh, you see, um, you see something curious on the branch of the tree. All right, I try to take a closer look at it. Well, uh, as soon as you get a closer look, um, you look, well, let's just say you're instantly on guard. I immediately, Because it, uh... it looks to be human- Wearing some robes from the slain theocracy, specifically that of a priest. I immediately start uh, trying to get um, the other's attention and point out to where the uh, the priest is. Seth, what you do? Ooh, I thought we was ahead of them. Oh shit! Bod is unsheathes his sword again. And the person's just sitting in a tree. Oh, he's standing in the tree. Oh, I can and he saw you. you guys approach the house. Looks to be on guard himself. Okay. How far? You there in the trees. Why are you up there? <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. I'm warning you. <laughs> how far away is he? Staff, and I know how to use it. Kind of. Yeah. How far away is he? He's in a tree. Not very far. No, from us. About twenty feet. Yes. He's currently having a panic attack. <laughs> are you going to attack? Do you want me to get him from. down? I want to use um, my awakened mind skill to speak in his head and say, if you leave now, mortal, we will not hurt you. I want to try to bluff him out of Is that like a suggestion? I just want him to leave. I would say that would be almost like a Christmas thing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, it doesn't say any particular class. And you just said, if you leave now, we won't harm you? Uh -huh. Yes. Jimmy can speak in my mind! They did teach us this at the school! Is he a new recruit? He is very, very young. Definitely oh. a fledgling. Well, hmm. He still has pimples on his face. And he's in priest like robes. Yes. And he sees us, us seeing him. Ugh. He's currently trembling at his feet, and like his like staff is shaking violently. Darkest calls out to him. Why are you in a tree, friend? As soon as you say friend, he hesitates for a second. Like the thing stopped, the staff stopped trembling, his legs stopped trembling. He's like, I, I, I got, I got blasted up here. I, wait, that's none of your business. Sorry. Okay, this I do want to hear. Us. You got blasted up there. Yes, by 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 a, by a, by a skeleton. Stop doing that. I will. I have to do this. This is interesting. I want to know more. I'm going to use command, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell him to approach and sit down and try to tell us the whole story. Promptly jumps out of the thing. Oh, he he's not making a wisdom saving throw. His mind is already going through an exit an existential crisis right now. Okay, cool. So <laughs> you probably fail it automatically. Sweet. He's just like pl plops down Indian style, places his staff down, 
I'm probably sitting down right from ready for this story. <laughs> okay, so my whole job was to go to Karn Village and kill a man by the name of Gazef Stronoff. I don't know who he is, don't care. They paid me enough to not care. We were about to kill him with our angels that we summoned. Then out of nowhere, poof, he just vanished into the air. And then two people take his place. Two people! That's not normal. One was wearing, one was a female wearing black armor with a giant axe. Seriously, the size of that axe was amazing. Then there was this man. It turned out to be an undead, and he absolutely decimated our forces. He cast one spell and basically destroyed all of our angels. And he used another spell and I got blasted up into the tree and I've been here ever since. You, you can't climb down? I just now climbed down, which I didn't figure that I could do. She kind of pats him on the shoulder. See, I knew you could do it. You're so nice for an inhuman. <laughs> Is there anything else we need from him? You're really going to do that? I'm just asking a question. Oh, God, I know. Is for some odd reason. He called the lady Albano, and she called him Lord Ains. Okay, so Lord Ains is a skeleton. Yes. His full name's Ains Owl. Oh. It? Oh. Ains. Yeah, what, whatever. That name. You know him? No, just heard about him. You know, that's terrifying. There's more. There's more joining his cause. I gotta send a message. Like hold hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Message. This is... I decapitate him. Right when he says, no. um, I have to, I decapitate him. No. 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 <laughs> no. I, no. What I wanted to do. Damn. Oh, well, it happens. Hey, I just do it. When he says, I have to, and his head is off. Damn, I'm gonna do the same fucking thing. <laughs> you guys are me. I was going to try and convert him into an adventurer. I, I, I wanted to know where it Oh, uh, so do you have to roll an attack? Oh, he's already decapitated, sorry. Okay. Rosu blinks and kind of faints because she was right there. Yeah, I just cut his head off and then I kick his body over so he's laying on his stomach. Seth picks up Rosu, which if you said you passed out, right? Oh yes, if she saw that right forever, she basically got blood in her Rosalind face. Puts it over her shoulder. Puts it over her shoulder. Is still in her box currently? Yeah, I'm still in the box. I imagine she pushed that box closer so she could watch. Yeah. <laughs> this is like this is like a carry-on box for a cat, you know, for like an exactly. online flight. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to be taking the box. Of course. <laughs> this is mine now. This is my box, and I'm going to call him Tiny Box Tim. <laughs> it's not that tiny. I just, uh, yeah, I just do that, and then I check him if he has anything on him. Oh, well, besides the staff and the robes, not Since put robes and back a in few the days of rations. Ooh, rations, I'll take the rations. <sighs> and then I just look at the old man, and I just say, uh, you have a way of getting rid of the party? I hate slain theocracy if I burn him. That's all you. Sweet. But first, <coughs> starts kicking it repeatedly. Oh, I'm so glad I'm blacked out. <laughs> oh, I feel better. Okay, I'm going to go burn them body now. <laughs> starts like dragging thing. it off. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. Oh, it's no problem, young man. Hey, hey, if you ever find yourself in this area again, just ask, I'll give you whatever vegetables I have. <laughs> I also am starting to grow a fruit orchard. Ooh, fruit. Ish. That's that something I'll take you on upon. Mango! Oh, next time. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get packing. Let's go. And then I just, uh, I walk over to the car and get onto my spot on top of the roof and <laughs> go back and go to sleep. My spot. No one else can have it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I mark, this is my territory. Nobody better step on my top of the roof. On top of the car. Shit's mine. Something's gonna have to drag. Uh, so I'm gonna have to not only drag Rozu, who is passed out, to the cart, but also carry Silence, which is inside of a fucking treasure, treasure chest. 
into the cart as well. No, no, that's that's okay. Uh, Barabbas gets some smelling salts out of his cart and wafts it underneath Rosu's mouth, uh, under her nose. Mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, messed up. Uh, and you wake up like with a snap. Oh, oh. Saw blood, didn't you? Oh, you poor dear. She gets up, walks over to the wagon, and glares at Ball. Does she still have blood? I'm so face? proud of you earlier. <laughs> yeah, her know, her proud right now. her proudness <laughs> have went from up high to down low. <laughs> Happened to two kills. Sleep. <laughs> anyway, hey, he did his one good deed for the day. All right, he uh, saved somebody from a deadly cure curse. There you go. Yeah, that one good day. Oh, and the man can't the thank thing. you enough. He's even sending you guys off with a couple of vegetables and a small bag of coins that he has saved up. So we got money? Exactly. Yep. How much? It's not very much since he's just a simple farmer. Wait, oh, yeah. am I the only one that can tell currency out of the party? Oh, that's amazing. No, we kind of <laughs> heard you on top of the wagon. I mean, you guys were out fishing while I was getting taught. No. Nah, we were nah, we were um, traveling all together when you got taught. You were all on the wagon. Well, you oh, were on top of the wagon. Oh, damn. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was the necklace plus we the, didn't hear about. Plus, we were around with the little girl. Go ahead, Rosie. Oh, gosh. Uh, so <laughs> how much did he give us? And he's a farmer, so it wasn't very much, but it was 23 silver. And that's a piece? Or split? No, all together. All together. That's two gold pieces. And that's all piece. he. That basically all he could give you without, you know, bankrupting himself. So twenty three divided by. Oh, uh, before we leave, uh, Ball would throw like four gold at his door, five. and then he'll go back to sleep. So at least I want some five or silver at least. Yeah, my first bit of money that didn't come from a dead body. The very happy, uh, very happy older gentleman waves you goodbye. He's smiling ear to ear. He was like, Laurel, we kinda... open at my door. Yeah. Farewell. I am wiping. And that's throw four gold at him. Oh, gosh. That's the first gold I've seen in my life. And there's four. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that earns Bell his second good deed of the day. We're taking a life. No, nah, giving a farmer gold. And curing him of a curse. Uh, don't see how this weighs out. As she tries to clean the blood off of her. <laughs> I need your so, bath. Boss, where is your, um, where is your magic shop again? I not tell you. He has a shop? <coughs> what, what, what was his response? He told you, didn't he? I didn't write it down if he did. Okay, to tell you, he said it was in the... He said it was in the city state alliance basically a place basically a place that where um where any humans were allowed you know mm -hmm. allowed but they're skeptized about yeah so where are we so where are we going guys are we Carm going to village. village i Carm mean village, aren't we okay. still going to this Ein's person yeah wasn't that after we go to Carm though well, I mean, we don't even know where he's at, so I thought we were going to Carnival Village just to see if we could get information where he's at. I mean, they might point to the right direction. What about I you, Kat? What do you think? I've just been sleeping in the box on the floor, but just kind of put my head up and just say con. I swear. I am <laughs> literally... I am, so, I am so tempted. I am so tempted to make one enemy just a giant sentient ball of yarn just to see what her character does. I was going to say a box mimic. Oh, that would be bad. <laughs> <Just get eaten. laughs> All you see is the tail sticking out. Oh. Alright, Barbas. Carn village it is. Alright, away we go. But we have to be careful, right? It's a human's village? Yes, you do. <clears throat> I thought it was an inhuman village. That's why I said we should. Nah. Tarn Village definitely is a human village. Okay then. As you guys are traveling along, you notice that uh, Karn Village uh, is a very, very small village. But you notice that the village has what looks to be the startings of a wall being erected. Uh, before we get there, something's gonna go ahead and transform into a. Uh, 
Should I do it? How he will look if he transforms into his original human. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. I have a picture. I'm just gonna post that to the um to Discord to make things faster. But I'm gonna go ahead and describe it just to make things easy. Okay. Ooh, something new to draw. Hey. <laughs> just give me a moment. I have to pull it up real quick. <laughs> All right, we have a we have a olive, deep brown colored character with what I can tell to be I can't see it's still not loaded but I think I believe it's black hair that is that reaches down to the base of his skull to his neck uh, I believe brown eyes and that's all I can really tell from here. Uh, well, as long as we stop outside the village, I want to change so I can look more mm, better. That's odd. What's odd? Um, well, the last time I was I was here at Con Village, there weren't goblins. Points to the village. There's green people. Oh, your changeling form looks cute. That's that's like the first one that popped up. Plus, he was supposed to be a game designer, so it just made sense in my head. Uh, oh, oh no. nice. Okay, so you see, goblins are currently building the wall is it sticks is it stone is it uh currently it is being made of large logs the goblins are very hard at work and you notice something very familiar about these goblins these goblins are from a particular item in yggdrasil known as horn of the goblin general oh the cheap item the gotcha hmm. oh See, look, looks like you guys didn't have to hide yourself. I was gonna walk in there natural, all natural. Hey, hold up. That's scary enough. Hey, hold up. Stop right there. Oh, hello there, Mr. Goblin. Sorry, but you're going to have to wait here until we get the boss. Bloody, your mic is kind of fucked right now. Is this any better? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a goblin in front of the carriage, and, like, um, Barabbas get, uh, he's like, Oh, hello there, Mr. Goblin. Uh, can I help you? Yes, you'll have to wait outside of the, of the village until we get the boss. I'm sorry, but those are the rules. They seem friendly. I'm fine with that. We don't want to we don't wanna have to create a fight, because, honestly, you look tough than us, so we don't want to go down that road if we don't have to. Uh, you see a human girl walking beside the goblins, has long blonde hair, what looks to be brown eyes, very simple village girl clothing. She's like, she calls the goblin by name, which you didn't know these goblins had names. And he's like, Bosh, you made it! <laughs> and is looking directly at the girl. Um, sorry, c c can I help you? Hello? Uh -oh. Yeah, we came here looking for uh, Ein's Ulgon. Oh, the savior of our village! Are you friends of his? Yeah, I just look at the party and I just say... Pop yes. Pop. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. My name is Henry Emmett. It is a pleasure to meet you. Uh. Although I'm very curious. He's yes. so powerful. He's so powerful that he employs people such as you. Wow, I'm impressed. You said employ? That's what she said. She seems honest. Uh, she seems honestly confused by your response. Uh, have you seen him lately? Oh yes, he's actually in the village today. Well, actually, his oh. his butler is in the village today. Oh, do you mind um, showing us to him? Oh, sure, sure. We'll just have to ask you, please. Just don't draw any weapons in our village. We recently came under attack, and we're still a little bit traumatized. Un understand, please. That slowly looks over at Bob. Same. <laughs> he, uh, Ball is <laughs> obviously trying to hide his face from it, the rest of the party. Just turning away, looking around like, oh, wow, look at the air smells. Oh, look at the beautiful tree. thing. <laughs> Everyone's giving him the give the typical like uh Japanese anime just stay. Well, I'm almost <laughs> thinking maybe we should put him in the box. I would not fit. <laughs> Sorry, silence. You'd, you'd probably get my big toe in, and that's about it. Me, 
And we will we will go. Don't have to hit silence, I'm sorry. I left my box in the cart, by the way. Yeah, yeah I was not gonna good. carry you around. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, but you guys uh, start walking, uh, like, across the village grounds. Again, it's a very small, very simple village. Um, as soon as people see you people, they instantly, like, hide their children in the houses, like, shut the windows, bar the doors. Like, you can see the evidence of, like, attack on this village. You see, like, a broken down house. You see, like, sword slashes across a door. You see blood still painting the walls of outside of some houses and the ground around you. But normal reactions. I mean, they have goblins walking around. I don't know why they're so scared of us. Yeah, it is. Oh, it wasn't goblins who attacked us. It was it was humans. By and then chance. I look at synth. <laughs> By chance, were they a part of the slain theocracy? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, such a big... Oh, and then I look at Rosen and say, oh, you see, you see how good humans are? Well, oh, don't Seven. get me start that. You... Mm, I can't say that right now. You keep your mouth shut. Just saying, She's humans are good for nothing. She's waving hi to someone in particular. You see a man in a black suit and white tie. Uh, very butlerish kind of outfit going on. He has sort of a silver hair, um, very intense eyes, and a long white beard. Uh, very trimmed, very very w well-groomed. This, uh, this attire is not of this new world. The man steadily walks over to towards you, and she's like, Ah, uh, Miss Henry, who are your triads? He use... does sort of a butler kind of thing and bows very slightly to Emmett, like putting his hand over his heart very politely, as a butler should. Uh, I'm going to use Eyes of the Grave real quick to see if he's undead. Okay. Gotta read it first. He's a, Hold on. He's a draconoid. Uh, I, I, I gotta, I gotta read the spell thing first. Give me a hot sec. And they just tell you about if something's like that within 60 feet. He, okay, so he is not undead. Okay. Oh, that makes me feel better or worse. Uh. And I'm gonna show you a picture of him. Yay. Yep, the handsome butler. <laughs> the handsome butler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were looking for you in particular. Oh, really? Well, not you in particular. Your master. Old Eines. That's his name. I think. What do you mean, you think? From what we understood. Well, it's. <laughs> what, what, what we understood. What I understood was more of a guild's name than a person's name. But apparently, it's a person's name. His eyes go wide, and you see his hand. Touch his head. Two fingers next to his temple. Stands there for a hot second, saying nothing. Do we know what he's doing? Well, no, because you're not doing anything. No. Oh, can we figure out what he's doing? You can. Just need to know what you're trying to figure out. <laughs> so I can tell you what to roll. <laughs> okay, do we know what he's trying to do? Do we know if it's a spell? Do we know... Uh, you're not quite sure, so... Uh, just say what you want to try, and I'll tell you what to roll. That he's not going to hit, uh, kill us? I'm trying to kill you. Yeah. Right. I think he means, like, a skill. What skill do you want to roll? Oh, I guess perception. Can roll that. Yeah, sure. Can I roll arcana? <laughs> <laughs> I want to throw insight. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, you know, you could share us the link to your hacks if you know. Like, we, you, I you know, wish I had this. I, I wish I had this when I did that awesome speech before, but oh, I did not yeah. have that. <laughs> yeah, don't die on us. I mean, damn, I didn't know it was that funny. <laughs> oh no, sorry, sorry. It's just I've never seen her roll this many crits in my, in my whole entire existence knowing her. <laughs> in a row. This is the second one. <laughs> 
No, just for shits and giggles, I'll just roll my uh... Oh yeah, go ahead! <laughs> 14, that's not bad. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. Uh, your perception, it doesn't... Oh! oh. You know he is... Uh, you know that he is doing... Frozen, you know he's doing something magical. You know for that for a fact. He's... But does it look like he wants to kill us? Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't want to kill you right now. Oh. Well, you can tell from your Arcana check that he is casting a spell known as Message, allows him to contact people. And Sith okay. knows nothing. Sith is pretty much like getting like nervous glances from all the people in the in the village because you are looking like a human currently. I have that's the whole bunch. Weird. They are weird okay question. with any humans, but not so much the human. Well, I didn't get a chance to change clothes, human. so. But he's in the like soldier. Why would they be nervous of a human? They got attacked by humans. They, well, they got attacked by soldiers, not just regular old just people. He takes so... his hands away from his head. You said something about a guild earlier, yes? Uh, yes. Old Ainz wishes to speak to you personally. Ah. <clears throat> he proceeds to snap his fingers, and you see a, a spell, another spell from from Yggdrasil appear before you, called Gate. Mm. It will take you directly to Nazarek's throne room. Do I automatically know that name? Great Tomb of Nazarek? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. It is the most legendary dungeon in existence <laughs> in Brazil history. No one was ever able to conquer it except Ainz Ulgaon the Guild. Their first run through. Yeah. yeah. All by themselves, too. It was said that only a group of people, like a group uh, alliance with fellow guilds, was going to be able to take it down. Down did it by that itself. <laughs> Not worry. The gate will not harm you. You want all of us? Yes. <sighs> so it goes ahead and walks through. Yeah, Ball was just getting irritated because he thought Rosie was just going to go, so yeah, I had to step through also. Yeah, oh, I go through. Oh, Spence also goes and drops his, uh, his, uh... Appearance? <laughs> Is that before or after in the gate? Before he gets into the gate, of course. Oh. <laughs> Uh, before you leave, all you hear is like, Whoa, Mommy! All of a sudden, he got pointed ears! And his eyes look weird! I really don't really... Uh. <clears throat> and silence, uh, before you even go through the gate, um, several girls, several uh, small children, uh, uh, girls, about six years old, are very enamored with you. Oh no, here comes another existential crisis. Oh no, they're 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 looking behind like a like a like a building. They're like, look at the pretty kitty. I want to pet its fur. I want to give it treats. I just like put my head down and just like scurry through the portal. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you go through the gate as well? Uh, uh I'm going to hold up the fair. Can I just stay out here? I am. I don't feel comfortable. Oh, he said, all of you, please. He bows his head. It will do no harm to you. I know your kind doesn't really like the undead, but please bear it. Uh, uh, Since comes back through the portal, to grabs Rosie. Uh, and don't, don't, her, don't, her, I, I, don't, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll jump back okay, guys, come on. Don't I don't want to go <laughs> I don't want yeah, to. Like, Sith, you go for one arm, I'll go for you. I say, get... Sith, you go for the legs, I'll go for the, I'll go for the no. arms. No! Hey, no, put me down, put me down! <laughs> no! And then we just, yeah, we just no, carry no, her. No. I don't want to go through as soon as you're through the gate. You just sense undead <laughs> all around you. You see undead knights. You see death knights. You see freaking... Freaking spider-like creatures, like working ceiling in stealth mode. Oh my gosh! I should have used the eyes of the grave. Oh my gosh! And Where's all that dirt? It's in the paint. Okay, then but see, still. Oh. Then, real. Then you see her standing at the top near the throne. 
The instant you came through that portal, you sensed her presence. A true vampire. And so she is looking at you with the utmost hatred. <laughs> uh, this so is t totally unfair that they know who I am right off the bat. You kind of are the bane of their existence, so... Yeah, but my disguise is supposed to cover it all up. I mean, he doesn't hide your aura. I mean, he does hide your physical appearance. If I had my special item that wasn't hacked. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, but he kind of stole that. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm, I... three, uh, three individuals standing, actually four individuals standing beside the throne and one individual sitting on the throne. The uh, one that you noticed first, um, Rozu, was, looks to be... A woman, a young lady, styled after a gothic Lolita. <laughs> very pale skin, white hair, very, very lolicon kind of thing going on with her. And you guys notice it too. <clears throat> um, also, there is uh, another woman standing right next to the throne. She, she is the very depiction of beauty. Raven black hair, pale skin, yellow eyes, two horns sprouting from her head, what looks to be two black wings. You sense all that. You're getting kind of overwhelmed, Ball. <laughs> Just in this room, you're sensing all that. If you guys put me down, I am clinging to one of you. <laughs> um, she's... Take your pick. <laughs> She is probably you depiction. because I can hide behind you. <laughs> and uh, the person standing next to this very depiction of beauty is a very scrawny man with pointed ears, black hair, glasses on, and what looks to be a pantsuit with um, with gloves on. He has a what looks to be a metal tail coming out of his backside. And he seems to be permanently grinning. And I would, I would sense that that's a fiend. Yes. Okay. Uh, the I'm, woman I'm is fiend also. also a fiend. The is it what? Uh, the uh, the beauty is also a fiend, and the uh, Lolita is a undead. And mm -hmm. you don't need divine sense to determine that the skeleton currently sitting in the throne is an undead. It's a celestial, obviously. Yeah, it's a celestial. <laughs> if you say that out loud, I'm pinching you. <laughs> nah, this is just, he's breaking everything down in his head about um, how how uh, much of a chance he thinks that the group would have against him, like percentage wise. <laughs> um, as you are clinging, as you are clinging to, um, to uh, one <laughs> ball right now. Uh, you notice that every time he passes by an undead, if he comes a little bit too close to one, it backs away, eyeing you. Uh, I'm backing away from it. <laughs> um, as you approach the throne... Oh, my holy uh, symbol would definitely be very prominent right now. Like, it would be hang like uh, it would be untucked from behind my shirt and it would be hanging out. Understood. This individual sitting in the throne is all bone. Very, very expensive looking gear and wielding a really powerful looking staff. Are you Einzogo? I'm sorry, my lord, but I can't have this blasphemy. Prostrate yourself! You are forced to the ground. Oh, what those checks? Yeah, we get a will save. Come That's on! Man. Sure. With disadvantage because you didn't realize it was coming. Fine. Okay, what kind of checks? Will saves? System saves. Ah, fudge! Why did it have to be a disadvantage? Disadvantage doesn't make sense, but sure. Why not? That's the word You did not anyway. know it was coming, okay? <laughs> you did not know that this spell basically was coming to you. That's why you have disadvantage. I know it's not fair, but that's how literally the anime works, the novel works, and the manga works. Basically, every time it happens, those guys really don't know that it came. Uh, although, Ozu? Yep. Well, you managed to barely 
be able to still be standing up. Oh. With a five? Okay. With a. I'll take it. Oh yeah, he, he his disadvantage was a five. <laughs> oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I so, I, I only I saw the fourteen. Sorry. Oh shoot! So I was the only one standing. Yes. <laughs> oh shoot! My knees are clanky. <laughs> came close. Oh. Although I'm going to have to roll for Vermilion since he's probably there too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot he was here, huh? Oops. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, he's been gnawing on some fish that he we had. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, quiet. so wisdom saving throw. Oh heck yes. Oh. <laughs> so he's also standing up. Got it. He's probably still chewing on some bone. You're you're currently as soon as ball goes down, you cling to Vermilion. Pretty much. <laughs> you're like save me. And you hear the undead speak. Demiurge, you are free to stand. Uh, stand or stay in your place. I'm already standing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, I stand back up, and then I just shoot daggers at the one he called Demiurge. Oh yeah. You mean this round? <laughs> yeah. And my hand is hovering over my uh, heel, and then my holy symbol as well. Demiurge, do you not realize who these people are? Oh my lord, I cannot foresee what a what a supreme being w would s see for myself. That would be the height of blasphemy. They are players from Yggdrasil. All eyes turn on you. Uh, that is crazy. And just to make it a little bit more stressful, I'm going to have all the undead just eyeing Rozu. Oh, but... Sorry. <laughs> sorry or not sorry. <laughs> I tried to stay out of that portal. Ugh. <laughs> you had to come. I would have been totally fine in that village talking to goblins, thank you very much. But you will have met Aims. Oh, what brings you here? You are not from my guild, yet I find you in these held holes. Well, we didn't willingly come here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you know as well, you didn't willingly come here as either. But I'm pretty sure the process before coming here was different on both parties. Time stop. He cast the spell time stop and you see time stop around you. Now we can talk. I do not wish for these, for my children to hear. Our conversation. Children? Yes. My friends and I made these NPCs. Oh, right. Sorry. They can't. The other way. Sorry. My friends and I made these NPCs. And when I arrived in this new world, they gained their own consciousness. What happened to the others? Their own personalities, their own wants, desires, flaws. You might have to say that again. What happened to the others? Did you not hear me? No. He's asking about the other players, your guild. Oh, he asked about the guild. Yeah. Unfortunately, the other members of my guild quit before the server finally shut down. I understand that. I am the sole member that decided to stay. Did you decide to stay as well? I mean, this would mm. make for a good outpost, <clears throat> since we don't really have anywhere we belong. I don't oh, feel no, comfortable. We didn't really choose to stay. No, we no, no. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I we were see. fooled by uh, some human player, and uh, it was a trap he set up. He I froze see. us. Full of our equipment. Now that is unforgivable. He was just being a yeah. troll. And he was a hacker. It does not matter. In Yggdrasil, or in this new world, I cannot abide people who would steal other people's belongings just to earn some coin especially those of the inhuman race well you're probably confused by everyone calling me Ainz U Gao yeah that's your guild I changed my name after I got here to let any other players who would desire to find the guild would hear of this name and desire to find it. I see that I have succeeded. <clears throat> My original player name was Momonga. I'm sure you've heard of me. Mm. Yeah, a little. Ball with a snicker just a little bit. I believe most people call him Momo on the forums. Yeah. 
Ah, and before we resume time, allow me to introduce my right hand, Demiurge. He's a highly powerful demon. I quite dislike him. He was pretty forceful with you, wasn't he? He reminds this... me of somebody. <clears throat> I don't force anybody, I just kill him. This... <sighs> he points to the beauty. This is Alberto. She is the guardians of, uh, she is the overseer of all the guardians in Nazarek. And this is Shaltir Bloodfallen, a true vampire. Talk about vampires. The one who took our stuff became one. So you are saying that a player who hates inhuman became inhuman himself. <laughs> Such irony. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <clears throat> I just say I love this whole front you're trying to put on in front of us. This is this, this is really enjoyable. Well, let us get down to brass tacks. It resumes time. And I cling to a person again. <laughs> Before we do anything else, if I am going to welcome you into this guild, have its fullest benefits available to you. You must do something for me first. All right. Well, you're assuming we want to join your guild. I kind of nod my head. I don't mean to say that with no disrespect, but you're assuming we want to join your guild. We came here to meet with somebody who may have been stuck in the same circumstance as we were. You don't. That does not necessarily mean we came here to work under you. But you, you don't have to. But Azarik will control. Will have control. Control what? You cut out. You cut out. Like, like Julie. <clears throat> oh no, he just said Nazarek will have control. You see all the NPCs kind of smirk at that. It's a very knowing smile between them. Mm. He, uh, the individual, uh, the Einzel Gown, seems pretty oblivious to the smirk. So you're planning on taking over this place? Oh, we will simply have control. <laughs> If you were to accept into going into your guild, what would you have us do? <clears throat> I want you to bring me ahead of this individual after you've killed him. I want to see if I can create a higher level undead with his skull. Oh no. You can do with the rest of the body what you wish. I also want you to find more information about a mysterious individual. Unclad in black armor. Ah! No! Ooh! We've had a few run-ins with him. Ah. Uh. You have? Have you learned his name? Nope! No. But he seems like he's claimed for himself territory around Carn Village. Well, a little southern. bit ahead of, on a path to, yeah, southern of Carn Village. Interesting. If you can find out his name, that will be sufficient for me. Mm. Are you going to tell us who this person is that you want the head cut off of? I think he wants us to cut off the head of the vampire dude. Like I said, it is your kill to enjoy. I just wish to see if I can create undead with this corpse. Well, if he's a vampire, then how would you create another undead from an undead? I've done it before. I just want to see whether his level can determine if I can create a higher level undead than I already can with the normal Death Knights. Mm. But wouldn't it be more profitable or more useful just to reanimate him as a as a vampire and keep him as the abilities he had? Evans, no. vampires are still pretty oh, high gosh. level. Evans, no. Imagine if a vampire becomes a vampire lich. Yeah, that would probably start a whole new set of problems. Yeah. Well, I guess that's true. This is what I'm going for. Have you ever created an undead from another player? Yes. Uh, just to let you know, this player was here seven years before us. Sorry, what, what was that? She, she kind of said, just to let you know, this player kind of was here seven years before us. Interesting. More time dilation. As the servers were shutting down, they first got rid of the security. And then they started getting rid of the spells as well. One of the first spells that they got rid of was the Archangel Flame, which I saw while, bat while battling the slain theocracy in Karn Village. 
Of course, compared to my level, that is a trifle. That's what you mean by What are the things you've learned so far while being here? I've learned how the currency works. How every single country behaves themselves. Planning to go in disguise as an adventurer to see how their adventuring guild behaves as well. Mm. After hearing this, Demiurge interjects and he's like, My lord, are you sir? Silence, Demiurge! <laughs> I was like at the rest of the party and just say, You guys have anything else to ask him? He's already asked <clears throat> most of the questions I was gonna. This area makes me very uneasy. I can't think of anything. Heinz reaches into a pocket dimension and tosses something towards your person, Rosu. I jump back and I run behind Vermilion. It looks to be like some sort of cloak. I'm not touching it. <laughs> something goes ahead and I'll picks it up. No, oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> we both just reached out for it. I'm like, oh, yeah, just go ahead. All right, something goes ahead and takes it. <clears throat> Starts trying to shove it towards Rosu. Nope, dodge. <laughs> I just say she's a bit of a, a weirdo. I am not weird. This place is creepy. This is a gift. You accept gifts from from people. What it is was very ill mannered of you to not accept the gift. Yeah, so 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 ill mannered. I mm. the, the disrespect. What is this anyway? Don't know. That's why I'm not touching it. Momongo, we would love to carry out the task of killing this uh, human <laughs> this vampire person, but. Uh, and it's a like we said before, he stripped us. He stripped us of our um, items that we worked hard to gather during the game. So it's going to be. It's going to take some wow. time for us to come do so. Meaning to, you, I understand this completely. That item I just tossed. It is a cloak of concealment. Comes continues trying to force uh, Sh Rosu to take it. It basically conceals her completely for a time. Imagine it as an invisibility cloak. Yeah, that could be very useful for somebody who doesn't want others to be able to sense what they are. It doesn't yeah. stop the creepies off my skin. No. It's it's not a cursed item or anything. Just take the damn cloak. No. I could show you a cursed item. I, 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 I think I we already got yeah, one. I just, I just think I sent them as a, bro, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Why not? Here, you take it. I won't need it anytime soon. <sighs> I'll take it. Now I'll throw it around my shoulders. Disappears. It disappears. You disappear. No, it disappears. Oh. Do I feel that it's still on me? Oh, not really. I try to reach for it and take it off. Thumbs off you, and you see it in your hands. Oh, okay. And I throw it back on. And I say thank you. This will come in handy. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, since some people don't want to take gifts. It does not stop the creepy feelings, okay? It's understandable. Her nature. I wish people stopped girl. saying that. But you are lawful good, are you not? No. I am confused. I... It seems genuinely confused. Wait. No, don't think too hard about it, please. Wait, uh, raises out his hand. They ah, did. That's what you are. That's why I said don't think too hard about it. Wonder you're so put off by me. And everything. You see Alberto get very frustrated with you, and she's like, How can you be frustrated with his presence? Altier is also very livid with anger with you as well. Uh-huh, I'm pretty sure a lot Ball of people. So Ball you, can you can literally see the the murderous intent seething from the two of these women. Yeah, can I please get out of here? Please, 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 please. Sent tries to distance himself from uh, Rosu. Oh. Yeah, Ball would just take two steps away from no, Rosu. No, no, no. I, I need. I need their body to Rosu. hide behind. I hide behind Silence, crouching really bad like. Hmm. Silence, how are you responding? Um, I'm just like chilling there. I haven't been really saying much or doing anything. I've just been thinking about everything going on. Think about you. So you don't mind me crouch behind you? Nope. Good. You have software. Thank you. Well, we should be getting on our way. So we have uh, a merchant uh, that deals in magical items that offered me to uh, look at his wares. Ah, Barbarus. Yes. Correct. Is a kind gentleman. He is. Oh, and then I, you, I, then I just look around to see if there's like a gate open or something. Before you leave, one last thing. Be careful. 
be extremely careful. I know not right now if works in this world as it did in Yggdrasil. Reveals a gate behind you, fellows. Guessing it... Rhea, uh, I'm guessing Rozu is the first one to die. I am three. booking it. Oh, so you won't go in, you won't go, you wouldn't go into a portal the first time, but oh, suddenly there's a portal behind us. Let's go ahead and just jump through that one. Huh? Oh, I'm already gone before you said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Bo will hang back a little bit and be like the last one to go and he just says, Hey, if you guys ever plan on like killing her, go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna fight you on it. <laughs> oh, you jerk! Have a good day. And then, and then I'll walk out. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> You appear back. You appear actually not inside the village. You appear right outside the village. Oh, oh my gosh! I, uh, Are you okay? Uh, there's so many wrong things. Us? Are you okay? Who just said that? Said what? Cassie, who said that? Before I scream. You see a very, very small hunched over creature standing right beside you guys. <laughs> His precious. And I scream. So Paris to cover her mouth oh, when she was wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is dreaming. She, <laughs> she had a rough day, that's all. I understand that because she's turn it down. Who are you? Where are my manners? I live as well. Mm-hmm. And why are you here? I just wandered out of the forest. <laughs> I saw you appear out of New Bell. I see. Okay. And then Bob will start walking towards the village looking for Barbaras. Or so Barbaras. So don't follow. Uh, uh, I walk away from the thing. Oh, Keep an eye him. on it. That's its name. Yeah. Yes. What did you say, Sam? I'm going to see if it has okay. anything else to say. It's currently following you guys. All fours. Okay, a little bit faster. I mean, from ear to ear. It's currently eyeballing uh, Synth. Very confused by him. It just keeps look, trying to keep him out of his eye sight range. Ch clearly trying um, to ignore him. Lil Popper is currently... She is currently um, barking or trying to bark up a storm at him. Mostly it's like... That dog was so you. quiet during the meeting. It's probably like me and Heidi. Dog. Oh no, it was it was too busy drooling over all the bones in the room. Oh, that is true. Uh, most, most of Synth's tunic is currently drenched in slobber. Oh, that dog go down. He uh, clearly needs to dry off. You cut out for me. What did you say? He puts uh, he puts Pupper down. It, no, he put he gives. Shit, I cannot talk today. He gives Pupper to Rozu so he can dry off. I just kind of hold Pupper. I'm like, but this is not my pet. Just hold him. Starts licking you a little. Okay, holding it by the neck. Out. Still trying to lick you. Yeah, you're knocking my face. Looking at you with his big puppy Bambi eyes. And I turn it towards the weird creature that is following us. See, they like each other. <laughs> do we eventually find Barbas? Oh yeah, yeah, you do. I just say, uh, let's get going. Let's go look at your shop. Oh gosh, what time of uh, day is it? Is extra. You see, um, you see, Aruka is currently hiding her children in the cart, and Barbus is aiming spells at creature following you. Ah, uh, good. Oh, but you're fine with them killing innocent people. But you're, I mean, you're not a, okay. It's weird. It's fine. It's not hurting anybody. Yeah, it's just following. It hasn't shown any killing intent at all. It's not that bad. Don't judge a book by its cover, right? And then I look at all of us. Do you understand what it is? No. 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 It's a ghast. History <laughs> check? I don't it. know. Can we do a check on that? History. Okay. Yep, there's my luck. 
Oh, synth and ball. Very nice. Let's see what Vermillion does. He's leaving here. Don't roll for him. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna even say anything. He doesn't. He doesn't need to. Oh, that's he mean. He might know and not say anything. Exactly. It wouldn't be fair if his character did absolutely nothing. <laughs> and his I character did much. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Ascent and Ball, you know that these are creatures from Yggdrasil, specifically uh, the realm of Helheim, one of the realms you were told never to go to unless you were at least 90 level, because they could kill you by simply touching you. Oh, I'm holding Pupper out to it. <laughs> Isn't my character from Helheim? Yes. Oh, so I may have seen one of these before then. Yes, and you knew to steer clear. Sorry, right, I didn't hear what Rosie said. I'm holding Pupper out to it. Uh, uh, Rosie feels like a wave of killing intent all of a sudden, the second she even tries to. No, you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I don't know what it I is. Say, oh, so you're trying to kill his dog? Wow, Rosie, I expected better from you. It's yeah, keeping Rosie. him away. I'm not trying to kill anybody. Do you not realize how deadly that thing is? No. Reaching out to touch Pupper. Free. It kills people with one touch. They rec the game recommends you not go anywhere near them unless you're level 90 and above. Wait, wait, and you're holding what? An innocent puppy near it. And it's yeah, not to touch it and you're not doing anything about it. Free. I, I moved the puppy away. I just look at the gas and I just say, as long as you promise not to try to kill anybody, I'm fine with you traveling with this. No! Yeah, just don't touch me and my pupper, and we're cool. Wait, if no! If he promises that, I don't, yeah, I don't mind you coming with us. You seem pretty chill. This guy is seriously could kill somebody with one touch. Why are we bringing him along? Well, Rozu, here's my retort. He didn't really hurt us or anything yet, so he's not really bad. Comparing all of us to a simple gas, I say that it's pretty clear that we're going to be okay. What if he touches us when we're sleeping? Exactly. Then then we die a painless death. Actually, it's very painful. I oh, move oh. five feet away. Well, you see, well, you know, as long as you... Are you up your, you're farming up your own intestines. <coughs> I just look at him and I just say, you're cool with not touching us? And then we're cool with you traveling with us? Just don't try to kill us? I, I am not traveling with that thing. I'm pretty sure the merchant does not want to travel with that thing. No, no, I, I'll just, I'll just try to be friends. See, look, he just wants to be friends. Mm. I just want, want friends, friends in my life, hello? Rosie, you're being very racist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Rosa. I didn't... <laughs> Are you laughing or coffee? <laughs> It's a mixture of both. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to stop laughing. Uh, I'm laughing to have friends. What's in my life? <coughs> Besides that meaning in black armor. See, even even our uh, even we align on our hate for the giant black armor person that seems to be able to want to kill us. We we have no reason to hate against this guy. He's so innocent. Why do we get Yeah, and if you're fine with letting humans live, then you should be fine with letting this guy live. You didn't let That's a human fair. live. Cool. I'm talking about you now, not me. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have yet to kill anything. Well, I let a human live. I saved the guy that's life from a curse. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Stay away, please. I look at Barbas. I just say, see, he said he wouldn't try to kill anybody. He just wants to make friends. Are you cool with him? Hanging out with us? Oh, uh, I. Well, why would you want to travel with a corpse? He just died. Why wouldn't we? And where did that black javelin come from? And then he showed up. Oh my gosh. No, no. I am running behind a building. <laughs> there are no buildings. There, we're in town. There has to be a building. <laughs> then you spawned outside. Yeah, I thought outside we went. The town. I thought we went back in. No, he was outside. He stayed outside the town with his Okay, family. nearest tree, bush, something. I am diving for it. <laughs> I just climb on back. I just climb on top of the cart. I'm just back on top of the cart. 
Yeah, Synth just gets back inside her quickly. I go to my chest. I just say, Barbas, let's get going. Synth closes the tent. I, no, 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 no. I'm going back in. I'm coming back in. I guess Rosie doesn't want to be with us. Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Synth hops out, grabs Rosu, throws her back into the, um... I was coming in, you <laughs> butt. Oh, last I heard, you were hiding in a... Okay, so, I need ball. I need Rosu. Oh, no. I need Synth to all roll dexterity saving throws. Uh, I'm on top of the cart. What do I need to make a save for? I'm sorry, who? You blocked out on me. 16! Synth. Synth, you need, you need dex save throw. See, Silence, your, your box saved you from the... Exactly. <laughs> the boxes are OP. Well, you were currently, like, as soon as you saw your box again, you went inside, so... Um, ball... You get hit again. You said what? Unfortunately, you're taking all of this. Okay. You are on top. I'm going to roll for his stats. Let's see if I can soak out. Let's see if I can take 40. Let's see if he could draw out 41 damage from me. Oh. 41 HP. Learn the day. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So you are taking this damage straight up. Just to warn you. Ooh, two HP left, yeah! Holy moly! <laughs> There's a little bit of room in the car in the box if you wanna <laughs> hop in here. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, you feel a piercing pain in your midsection. There is a giant king black javelin, like, piercing your intestines and going out your back. Oh... Uh... It probably pierced through the top of the wagon. Yes, you are currently bleeding out. I have 2 HP, I'm still alive. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> uh, this is going to take effect over time if you don't get healed fast. And you are going to die. Well, I'll use Lay on Hands all 20 points on me. You're currently pinned to the cart, you can't move. Well... Well, I'm he has to take out the javelin and then lay on hands on myself. Obviously. Look. What is this athletics? Straight strength. Ooh. Oh, yeah, create, so. <laughs> natural 20. Your hands covered in blood. You barely get the grip around it. And you, you use all of your strength to pull this thing out of you. And then I cast lay on hands. And you struggle to even like throw it aside like as as you lay it down it falls off the cart and it makes a miniature crater in the earth as it sits on the ground as you bolt as you guys bolt away can i see if where the black guy is at that's yeah, also racist you, you 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 can see him floating above you is he ready to you throw another one at us no he seems to be starting to cast double fireball in each hand. Ah, uh, fudge, 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 fudge. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, uh, I'll shoot lightning bolt at him. How far away is he? 100 feet in the air. Oh. Uh. Does a 19 hit him? It's only 100 feet. It doesn't even reach him. Didn't you say he was only 100 feet? Yeah. I said two. I said two. Uh, you said oh, 200. 200. That you said oh, Fireball 100. shouldn't be able to reach us from 200 feet. Well, he is a different kind of person. He has bonuses. Uh, oh, um, I'm going to have Barbarous roll something. Okay, set this. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, uh, gosh. I don't know what to do. Just keep Barbara screams to everyone in the cart. Cover your eyes and your ears. Kind of hard to do both, so I just cover my ears. Mm, yeah, the same. Yeah, I just tuck myself in the chest and cover my ears. I <laughs> put my shield yeah. over my face and then I cover my ears. You hear, uh, even with your ears covered, you hear. <sighs> Like All of a sudden, you guys feel a little bit weightless. 
Can I cover your eyes now? I open up my eyes. Um, Rosu, you never thought you'd see, like, a sky view again, but currently, uh, he is currently sending this cart through the air. Oh, this Seriously? Is he's on top of the cart. This is fucking... <laughs> oh, you... Does he, like, need to make a straight saving throw to stay on the cart? Seriously? Throw on the cart? Yeah, I'm always on top of the cart. Oh, I can't no. fit in there with you guys. After the initial boom, it's not going very fast. He just needed to get away. Basically, what he just cast was a combo of a spell. Basically, he both cast teleportation, fly on the entirety of the cart, and now he's currently riding very leisurely through the air. This thing's going to crash. Oh, heavens, no, Messi. But no wings. Our elemental! Does this stay up in the air forever? Well, I know that, but I'm not going to crash. I've done this. How many times have I done this? That is not at least 25 times, and it scares me every time. That's because you're a minotaur. I can't just stick oh, my head my outside the cart. <laughs> and where's the black armor dude? You just see a blood trail while you're looking out. It's raining blood? <laughs> it's coming for me. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of lift my head my above the cart to have like, holy moly! <laughs> need yeah, help? Why is okay. me? Do you need help? She kind of okay. looks at you like, you need healing? You said no? Okay, go back under. <clears throat> okay, so there is a big streak of blood, however. And Rozu, as you do, like, look back at the where the man in black was, he is no longer there. I'm going to look forward in front of us. See if he pops up there. Know me so well. He's there, isn't he? He's currently flying in front of the carriage. <laughs> I knew it! I'll shoot, I'll shoot, I'll shoot. Uh, protect you and evil on me. <laughs> and then, uh, sanctuary on Barbus. <laughs> counter spell against you. Uh, well, triple. Does he have eyesight on her? Yes. Uh, uh, he has the eyesight on everybody. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, He's currently uh, double casting a fireball in each hand. How close is he? It's currently point blank range. Okay, then. Barbarous. <laughs> okay, Hail Mary, calm emotions. <laughs> I am going to try everything I can. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Make him not attack us? Make his hostile tint not yeah, hostile. Unfortunately, he's immune to enchantments. <laughs> While she's doing that as my bonus action, I'll cast Thunder Smite on my sword. And then I'll rush at him with my sword and try to slash him. Cancels his fireball as a free action and catches your sword with two fingers. Don't even get an attack, okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and activate Arms of the Astro for 2k, and I'm gonna attempt to punch him with my arm the second I see him grab a sword. Just to tell you, even if you got a critical ball, you wouldn't have been able to surpass his armor class. Oh no. Uh. Fuck it, I'll just cast um. How about James on the Why not? Fuck it. There's a reason for it. <laughs> you said what? No, it seems frustrating, but it's. There's a reason for it. <laughs> I'll just cast over on chains on him. <laughs> DC 13 to not get caught. <laughs> Sorry. That means a deck save. I don't know. Like <laughs> Lock him in the air. Deck save? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, freaking. Really? Yes, he passes. Oh, well, yep, that goes with my idea. I won't be able to do that. Uh... Charging the fireball. He gets a plus 20. Oh my gosh. Uh, as I'll, try to stop him. I'll try to stop him with the javelin. I miss. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, I, can't do shit. I can't do shit to him. As he is distracted, you see something flying towards you guys. And it has gigantic wings. Dragon. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Man, I'm armor also sees this dragon. The dragon seems to be pure white in appearance. Man in black armor cancels his fireball and he lets go of your sword. 
and he starts flying off. You see, as soon as you get a chance ball, you see Barabbas puts down his hands and the white dragon fades. Ah, oh, this thing ever. He slowly lands the, the cart and he was like, help you earlier, ball. I was busy casting that spell to save us. There's one thing pure evil beings fear in this world more than anything, it's a Snow White Dragon. They are the antithesis of good. Strongest beings in themselves. Typically, yes. I still don't well, know, you know besides God. God. Huh? I said, well, you know, besides God. That is true. It's real. I, I want to apologize to you each and every one. I am so sorry I didn't get to it sooner. No, we should be sorry. We were supposed to be texting you in order to do all about that. Takes an obscenely long time to cast that spell. Anyway, as you guys as you guys land, you are finally able to relax. As Barbarous <laughs> spell. <laughs> Sorry. And basically disguises your big space. And that's where we're gonna in the <laughs> Uh, hiccup ending. 